Billy, you should have just gone bowling. Oh, come on, Susie. You know I'm working on it. What? Dan Danger, James Parker. Come on, Susie. You keep complaining of how I never take you to the drive-in. And this is where you finally take me? Wait. Yeah. What? The boys have been talking about it all week. They said it was a blast. I know. I just really wanted to go see a romantic flick or something. I don't well, know what this is. I didn't want to see something like this. It's a sci-fi mystery double feature. And don't forget to stop by the concession booth for some tasty snacks. It's going to be good, trust me. I'll get you some popcorn. Swell. And now, part one of tonight's thrilling double feature. Take everything. I'm out of here. It all started when them legs walked through my door. She had golden hair and a black heart. She was my kind of dame. Excuse me, Mr. Danger, you're the only one that can help. Me? I haven't much time. It's all here. I'm sorry. You're my only hope. You deal with it. Take everything. I'm out of here. This is your chance, Dan. Mr. Danger? Dan... Danger. Dan Danger. And you're sure it's her? Still playing the damsel. She's after the damn coin. Keep an eye on that detective of hers. Both eyes. My vast expertise told me anything. It was that there was more to this case than I knew. Then again, what I knew wasn't much. I'd like to report a stiff. Sunshine Motel, room 7. Uh, 
All right, that's far enough. No, I didn't do it. All right. Eye patch, Mr. Danger. Please just call me Dan. You can call me your undertaker if you don't shut the hell up. Capiche? How capiche? What, what do you where, know about this? Where, where'd you, where'd you see? I, I stole it from a dead guy. This is the great Dan Danger. Oh, I don't know about great. Above average, maybe, but. They're dead. Who? Everyone. Something wasn't right. I couldn't quite put my finger on it, though. My detective instincts weren't helping either. Not that I really had any. The undead aside, I was beginning to like this job. Coin danger. Let's have it. Coin? What coin? Oh, hey, that's a gun. Uh, oh my, okay, uh, here you go. Hey, you know, uh, after this, why don't we, uh, you know. You really are oblivious, aren't you? I think I would know if I was oblivious. Excuse me. You deal with it. I'm out. Nuclear war. When the Ruskies strike, they'll strike quickly. Sluggards among you, your friends, your family, who are stuck in an era of T9 texting, are slowing this great country's response. And slow is unsafe. No email. No Facebook. They're trapped in what scientists call the free phone zone. A strategy devised by communists. Our sworn enemy. But my phone's just a phone. You think you're only hurting yourself. But really, you're hurting everyone with your backwards thinking. You're not a communist, are you? No, sir. How am I going to call my mom? Don't be a dumb phone user. Get a smartphone. For you. For your country. Hey, you can get porn on this thing. This message brought to you by the US Apple Google Soft Amalgamated Phone Concern. Warner Brothers Pictures presents a film so astounding, so shocking, your eyes won't want to leave the screen. The chilling tale of the monkey man. Half man, half ape. The monkey man is a force not suited for this world. Dazzling special effects, never before seen on any screen. The monkey man is truly a wonder of the modern world. The monkey man. We'll be famous, I tell ya. Famous. Hey. Where, where'd everybody go? <laughs> Help me! What will happen to this daring damsel? What does fate have in store for the monster himself? 
Don't miss the biggest spectacle to hit this side of the silver screen. Don't miss the chilling tale of the Monkey Man. Outside my office used to hang a brass plate that read, Private Detective. I used to have a perfect track record, no unsolved cases. That was until these damn kids started to vanish. It had been months now and still no answer. Come back tomorrow during office hours. James Parker, Private Investigator, I need to speak with you right now. Look, if your kid's missing, I'm sorry, but I can't Parker, help you. I have $5,000 out here and I am not walking away until we talk terms. Of course you do. Unfortunately, so do a lot of people, and I don't have the time to find kids. Well, I'm offering you five grand to find my daughter. Straight to business. Now, are you going to help me or not? I'm at your service, dollface. So where did it all start? These little podunk towns are a large slice of Americana. Too bad they are never as quaint as people make them out to be. At least I had my 44, a bottle, and 5,000 fresh ones to keep me company. Trying to find out about the missing kids in this town? Have you seen anything suspicious? Uh, excuse me. I'm inquiring about a missing girl, last name Lawrence. You heard anything? Excuse me, you going this far? Who's asking? Not a cop, just a curious neighbor. Looking around for Sally Lawrence. Sally Lawrence. That bitch, what'd she tell you? Whoa, just looking for a kid. Safe to say you're acquaintance of hers? It's pretty safe, all right. I'm Earl Lawrence. Sorry. It's just been hard lately. So what happened? Go from the start. She's working with them. Them? She took our kid and brought her to them. Who's them? There's things in the woods. Strange creatures in the woods. Thanks for wasting my time. Yeah. You just go walk away. So much easier to believe that damned harlot. Can't believe I put a ring on that woman's finger. What kind of ring? Earl told me that he saw a ship out here. Ship. It still sounds so strange. I was grasping at straws. I was certain there wasn't going to be anything out here. Earl must have just been some jealous husband. But then... Hey, hey, hold on! Sally, where'd the kid go? Hey, talk to me! Now!
Outside my office used to hang a brass plate that read Private Detective. I have to hand it to you, Billy. That was really cool. Dan Danger, James Parker. What cool cats. Billy. What's wrong? They should have warned me. Warned you what, Bill? The fellas. I mean, they should have warned me. But they had cursed coins, people getting kidnapped. I mean, that thing was really scary. It's... A man should not take his lady to a film like that. I mean, I. how can I... I mean, they owe me... They owe you an apology. <laughs> we'll go see a romantic flick next time. Yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah good. Good. You need some popcorn? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you're all right, yeah? Yeah. I didn't think I was that scary at all. A brave lady here. <laughs>